Good day. Welcome to the primary one online class. I'll be taking through you, you through mathematics. And the textbook we are going to be using is the Lantern Comprehensive Mathematics Book 1. Um, as we journey along in this class, I hope everybody had the textbook by now. And um, the first topic we are taking from our mathematics class is the whole number. Yes, numbers and numeration. So we'll be taking the whole numbers, we'll identify numbers of objects, we'll learn how to write numbers, we'll learn greater than, less than, and the orders of numbers. So sit back and relax, get your books and your writing pen. Um, if there's any question, observation, anything you don't understand, please don't hesitate to pass this pass them across to me so that we can treat them together and explain as we go ahead. Okay, so now today we are learning whole numbers and we will be learning how to identify numbers of objects. For example, here we have a bucket here, one bucket. We have a bicycle here, one bicycle. We have a car here, just one car. Now, every object that has been itemized here, that have been shown here, have different numbers of them that are here. Okay? Now, tick items with one object. Now, how many cars do we have here? This is a face car. One. So we'll do what? We tick it. This is a football. How many football do we have here? One. This is a shirt. How many shirts do we have in this picture? One. This is a table. How many people do we have in this picture? One. This is an umbrella. How many umbrellas do we have here? Just one. One umbrella. Now, if you get to this number six, this is a ruler. How many rulers do we have here? Two. One, two. Now, this is a cat. How many cats are here? One, two. Okay? This is an aeroplane. How many aeroplanes do we have here? Just one. This is a sharpener. What you use in sharpening your pencil. How many do we have here? We have one, two, three. So, we go back to the beginning of the test. Now, the question says, seek items with one object. Just one object. So, we take the cap, we take the shirt, because it's just one shirt, okay? We will take the table, because the table has how many? Just one table. Now, the football, how many football do we have here? One football. So, we take the football, we go to number five, the umbrella. How many umbrella do we have here? We have just one umbrella. So, we take it, okay? Number six. How many rulers do we have here? We have two rulers, so we skip it. Number seven, we have how many cats do we have in the picture? We have two cats, so we skip it. Number eight, we have aeroplane. How many aeroplane do we have here? Just one, so tick it. Okay, so in this picture here, we have the cap, one cap. We have the shirt, one shirt. We have the table, one table. We have the football, one football. We have the umbrella, one umbrella. We have the aeroplane, just one aeroplane. Okay, I hope you understand this. Now, let's move to the other part of the book, the second part. Identifying numbers of, number of objects. Now, here we have two buckets. We have two bicycles. We have two cars. So, everything that will be seen here will be in twos. Okay, now, I mean, we have to come here. This is letter two. This is number two, this is number two, this is number two, number two. Okay, now, tick items with two objects. That means we'll be ticking items with two objects as we go. Now, let's count. How many bags do we have here? Two bags. One, two. How many elephants do we have here? One. Number three, this is a ladder. 
How many ladders do we have here? One, two. Number four. This is a fan. How many fans do we have here? One. Number five. This is ants. How many ants do we have here? One, two. Okay? Now, this is a dog. How many dogs do we have here? One, two, three. Number seven. This is an electric bulb. How many electric bulbs do we have here? Three. One, two, three. This is pig. This is a pig. How many pigs do we have here? One. This is a house. How many houses do you see in this picture? One, two. Now, since we've gone through all the objects in the picture, okay? Now, let's take the high times with two objects. Number one, how many bags do we have here? One, two. We take it. Okay? Number two, how many elephants do we have? Just one. We skip it. Okay? Number three, how many ladders do we have in the picture? Two. So we take it. One, two. Okay? Number four, how many fans do we have in the picture? One fan. Just one fan. Okay? So we skip it. Number five, how many ants do you see in the picture? One, two. So we take it because we are taking items with two words, two objects. Now we go to number six. How many dogs do you see in the picture? One, two, three. So what do you do? You skip it because it's more than two. Number seven. One, two, three. Three electric bulbs. So what do you do? You skip it because it's more than two. Now let's go to number eight. Number eight. We have how many pigs here? Just one pig. So you do what? You skip it. Number nine. How many houses do we have in the picture? Two houses. So we do what? We tick it. Now let's count the number of items with number of objects with two high two items. One, two, three, four. Okay. I want you to tick it in your test books. I want you to tick it so that I will see it when you are done. Okay. Now let's go to the next page. Page four. Identifying number of objects. That's the topic we are treating today and we are moving forward. Now, there are some things that comes in ones. There are some things that comes in twos. Okay? Things that comes in one, they will always come in one. And there are some things that comes in pairs. Okay? A pair of shoe will come in twos. You see, my hand, are, my hand is two. Okay? They will, everyone has two hands. We all have two hands. You have two, you have, your shoes comes in pairs, two legs. Your nose, if you two, you have two nostrils. The holes there are two. So you have two nostrils. You have two eyes, okay? You have two feet, okay? Twins come in twos, okay? Twins, okay? Your lips, you have two lips. The upper lips and the lower lips. You have two legs, two socks. Because you wear one on the right leg and the second one on the left leg, okay? So there are some things that comes in one. One mouth, one sun. On heads, we only have one sun. The moon, we have one moon. So you can tell me, you, I want you to write in your book other things that comes in ones and other examples of things that come in twos, okay? Do it as your classwork and do it in your book, okay? I will see them later. Okay, we've come to the end of the class today. Next class, we'll be treating and be identifying numbers of objects that comes in three. That's page five. So, if you are smart, I want you to, if you're during your leisure time, I want you to read through it, go through it, so that when I come for the next class, it will be easier and we'll be doing the content together. Okay, see you next time. Take care. Bye.